we try to get the copyright of this anime to make a movie. Um, then we found out actually it's very funny because the story, the, the copyright belongs to the writer, the novelist. Um, but it's a little bit different from the novel. The, the anime is a little bit different from a novel. So, so if we want to make a depth from the anime, we have to buy the right from the anime as well as to buy the right from the novelist. So we don't know what we, sh what we should buy. So actually, we went to Japan. We talked to the writer, the novelist. The novelist suggests that we should shoot another story that's also written by him. But then, because we, we read this novel, and but then because we, we really like the, you know, the, no the Wicked City at, a lot, because it was very sexy, very um, uh, satirical uh, in a way, and it's very close to us, because it's almost like telling the story very in our environment, it's like in our city. Like the Wicked City can be anywhere. It can be New York, it can be Hong Kong, it can be Tokyo, it can be Paris, it can be anywhere. So we said, maybe we, sh we still want to make this movie, this story. So end up we have to, uh, then we, we start adapting the novel into the movie and, and try to get away from the anime as much as possible. And then we work with the writer, we work with the novelist. We need uh, the writer's endorsement uh, every time we, we start with this new, uh, new thought or new idea, uh, which that doesn't belong to the novel. So we, we came up with a story, we wrote, we came up with a story, and then we, 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 we asked the permission of the writer to if that was okay or not. The biggest Different is the ending because in the anime, uh, the ending was uh, it was uh, totally like uh, this old guy who came up and this crossover. You know the the um, the the monster was having this affair, love, sex relationship with the uh, with the human to come up with a new generation. Uh, we, we we didn't think that that was uh, something that we we should have in the in the story. We should think that it should be. Um, something more uh, horrific, or maybe more uh, more visual, than just like um, action taking place in very enclosed environments. That's why uh, we designed, you know, like a plane really landing on top of the building. That's a big change, you know, compared to the anime. In the novel, actually, it was very close to the anime in that sense. So we have to also change the, 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 uh, the story of the novel too. That's why we asked the, the, the novelist to give our permission because we, we did change a lot of stuff. Because we add one character in um, the, um, the king of the wicked city. He's not a bad guy, but he's to be a very dominant uh, character. The additional character as well as the change of story. The second part is totally different direction away from the novel and the face anyway. Yeah. Sometimes we put on the screen, it works, sometimes it won't. But the most of the time, that we see that it's quite different. Uh, live action, uh, action and the anime action scene, uh, when they put together, you, you can see how much different when you play with a human and when you play with an uh, anime character. Because um, it's been very popular in the 80s. And it, it was quite influential. Uh, inf influenced a lot of places in the world. The anime style. Uh, we are also fan of anime, you know, movie. But then, when we start to use live people to do this action, that we we is not as simple as that. We need to be more convincing and more realistic, because in the anime sequence, probably you have a person who totally you know drifting in a very ambiguous background. But if, if you want to put in a live action, then you need to put this person doing some really powerful action. You need to see them really doing things in a three-dimensional, realistic environment. 
in anime sequence of action, then you probably we can have freeze frame doing very you know powerful pose. But in in action, you want to see them in moving is in in sequence, not just like a freeze frame. <laughs> We did try, you know, experiment a lot with, you know, seeing what sort of, you know, combination we can have for this action, live action, using some of the elements from the anime. But then sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But most of the time it doesn't work. So, so when we say that, you know, if it's, it's very similar or very close to, but I think it's very impress, impression oriented type of thing. It's when you put, you put the two things together, you can see how much different it is. I think he's a, he's a very good actor. And when we have, we want to have a very powerful character from the story. Uh, and also because the, the movie, the story is from, adapted from a Japanese novel. So right away I, I can see his face in my mind when we thought of the uh, story. Uh, we talk about a representative of the wicked world. Uh, we want to try to identify who can play the role. Right away, I, I see his face in my mind. That's why I suggest to him. And, he, and, and we went to Japan and talked to this guy, and he really was very happy to do the, the role. So we were very excited. Because we watched his movie for years. We were kids. We really <laughs> loved his, his, you know, his acting, his performance. It was quite an experience, because we, we, we worked with actor or performer who, do, who doesn't speak uh, Chinese at all uh, in the past. Uh, I remember this one time that we were, we were, I was shooting uh, a, a company called Asia School Places 3. Um, on the set, we have French-speaking person, we have Japanese-speaking person, we have uh, English-speaking per person, we have, uh, I think, four or five different language going on. So, so when we came, when a director who, who got on the set to do something for one scene, uh, he started talking with this actor all together in a group. And then really right away you can see the translator. The translators, there are four or five translators on the set at the same time, after the director making a speech, and then five of them start speaking to the actors. And they and then after five translators speaking to the actor, they turn back to the director and tell you know what the reaction of the actor to the director. Five languages. So this sort of things. So this is as to Nagadai, this experience is not as dramatic as that. You know. So it's only one person who can speak Japanese and, and also because we we are quite Sure that you know Nagadai is uh, familiar with the role a lot because he, he studied and he, he read the script in very small detail. He he can tell me everything that the character is about, so this is much easier. Because I think Magdaki is very good, have very good sense in in graphic and visual. Uh, I will see something different in his movie uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, in art directing. Um, so, and also make very good movie, you know, uh, his first, his stupid movie was very interesting, amazing, you know, like a movie. So that's why he's been a, in a, in my memory, he's a very good uh, choice to do something like this. Especially, we already have anime, uh, you know, film done before. So, I think he's, he would have a, a enough material reference for a good director to start, you know, like a, a movie like Wicked City. So, um, so I used him because I, I, I talked with him about, you know, some of the similar type of material before because he was making another ghost story in Taiwan. 
And I, I, and I saw the way he made the movie and I talked to him and then I decided that he should be director of Wicked City. The first person we uh, always focus on uh, to choose, you know, whether we can find a good female role for a movie or not, um, is not something. It, it, is, it is the the the, the woman, uh, the farm, the um, the female role lead in the uh, Riga city. She was very official lady, office lady type of things. She looked like a you know like a CEO. But he, she was very sexy and she also killed like hell, you know. She was like a devil in, in fighting. So we need to find a face which have convincingly innocent or uh, calm, yet very pretty and sexy and also have this killing, you know, um, potential. Um, in that period of time, I was looking around, then I've, I've, I, I said that maybe we should use, you know, like, um, Michelle Ray, because she doesn't look like anybody else in in that period of time. She she have a look of herself. She have very harmless look, and she have very long hair, and and the harmless look was a very good choice, uh, in my opinion, for the road. That's why we said have a Michelle Ray. And everybody was thinking, hey, oh, Michelle Ray can be so Ray plays sexy role. I said, of course, she can be very sexy in a way, in some way. So we decided on Michelle Ray. And then we chose Leon because she doesn't look like a, you know, a, a teller in the bank, uh, look like a clerk, you know, like a person working in the, in the office. Then we find a person who, like, also like an office clerk type of thing, but it's more in the angry side. So the, we chose Jackie Jung. We try to play around with the uh, metropolitan culture by saying that, you know, nowadays, is, uh, you know, this crossover uh, culture or uh, corporate business, sort of like we, 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 we put every, you know, all sort of like a, people are more like a very stereotype type of uh, look or images. So we try to make use of that as the style of uh, Wicked City to, to create the, the kind of um, uh, story that we can, like telling, is all about showing that like, the city can be anywhere in the world and the people can be anyone in the world. Anyone that we can see spot in New York or Tokyo or, 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 or you know, like Hong Kong. Thank you.